<laughs> These watercolors? No, they're acrylic. Okay. So it's Friday night. I just got off of work. Grabbed a beer. I made my own. Oh my God, where's my hair? It's sticking up. Just like, it's Keith. It's the Keith do. So, uh, I looked high and low, so I have all these paints. Remember, my all my paints and I had all these brushes. You know, you live in a 19-foot van. You think that you'd remember where you put something like that? Nope. So, we are going to finger paint the scenery. Let's see what we're looking at here. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. So, yeah, we don't have any uh, brushes. And look at their chef. We can paint chef. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try this with finger painting and we'll let you know how it turns out. Probably after three beers, mine will be the best. <laughs> yeah. John wanted us to watch a video and Keith was like, it's interpretive. <laughs> we're just making them how we want to make them. Is this a race? On your market no. no, it's not a race, but we'll show uh, everybody afterwards to show how. I looked everywhere. I looked high and low. I've been sweating because I looked everywhere. Oh, look at Champ wants to get that. Champ. Chef. Chef. <laughs> Chef. Chef is chasing the roosters. Get him, Chef. Get him. Okay, we'll be back to let you know uh, how it all turns out. Okay, John, there's a reason now we know why John wanted to paint. Oh, yeah, and, we, and, and there's a reason why he's a good... A cameraman. Yeah, because he's very John, art. John has unleashed his artistic. He's very side. artistic. I already say uncle. Yeah. I already what? give up. Yeah, I'm still guys. gonna keep going, but uh, <laughs> wait till John shows his. It's Van Gogh. Yeah. Oh, are we live? Keith, go. Yeah, you're doing the Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going. Yeah. Van so, Gogh. Uh, it's Van Gogh. Van Gogh, go gone. <laughs> Oh, John, show yours for right oh, now. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Happy trees. And we'll start the he was watching. And a, <laughs> he was watching a video on how to finger paint before we started, so he learned how to do it. I showed you guys. Yeah. And let's have the bidding starting at. <laughs> Who wants to come hang out with us and finger paint on a Friday night, huh? Okay, we'll be back to show the final result. We already know John won. Nope, that's okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, we're done. I'll show you. I'll show you Keith first. Yeah. We say it's interpretive, okay? And it's finger painting. <laughs> wow. Keith is really good. Keith, that looks really good. Okay. From a distance. I'll show you mine. <laughs> From a, stand across the river yeah. over there. And yeah, all interpretive, remember, interpretive. Okay, now wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. Here, here's the here comes Here comes Bob Ross. Yeah. Bob Ross, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we even put the cross over, over there. there yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a postcard. <laughs> Maybe Brian wants to sell those as postcards. I'm gonna show you what we're looking at so you can see what we were painting. So that's what we were painting. Hi, Chef. Hi. So, yeah. And that's not snow. Somebody asked if that was snow. Oh, it's beach. So, isn't that beautiful? So, yeah. We only have one more week left. We leave a week from tomorrow. There they are. There they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what we do on a Friday night. So there you go. Wait till Saturday. Good morning. It is Sunday. And it looks pretty, but it's chilly. Well, I shouldn't say that coming from Minnesota, but it's 60. I think it's going to be 65 here. It's only like 50 right now, but it actually feels good to me. So yesterday it rained all day long. And I laid in bed. I did not get out of my pajamas. And I pretty much slept all day and all night. And I think that's what I needed to just recharge my batteries and catch up with a bunch of sleep. And um, even though I know you can't catch up with sleep, but boy, it made me feel a lot better. So I'm actually going to go to the gym now. I cleaned the van. It was looking a mess. And I 
What do I got to do? I got to work this morning. But I'm going to go to the gym, take a shower, come back, do some work. And then Keith and I, I think, are going to go do a small adventure. We were going to go, um, what do you call it, on the river, down by the river. We're going to go kayaking. But I think it's a little, well, he thought it was too cold. I mean, I don't think it's too cold, but, you know, Keith is very delicate, like a flower. So, and you know when I said that we only had one week left? Yeah, I don't even know what day it is anymore, what date it is. Uh, we're here for two more weeks, <laughs> so we don't have to be sad yet. So, uh, we're all leaving April 1st, so that's the plan, because it's still pretty gross uh, in Minnesota with the weather. So, we'll see what happens, but, all right. Time to start the day and I'm feeling like a champ. All right, let's go. Okay, I just worked out and I took a shower and there is something to be said for a really good rest and giving yourself a break to rest. And listen, I don't ever feel guilty. Like if I take a nap, well, I can't now because I work in the afternoon, but um, that I think sometimes we, Think we have to keep going and for me it's not about not resting it's like I just have so much I want to get done but it just reminds me how I have to like really take naps or really go to bed early and especially being on the road um, I will tell you that uh, well I've been eating a lot more meat because you know when Keith cooks that's what it is I usually don't eat that much uh, typically and so when I leave here, I'm going to try to be a Pescapalian, where it's just fish. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I'm really going to try because, again, I don't eat that much meat in my normal life, but how could I pass up Keith? He just made a meat pie, and I tasted it before. He's making it again so that he could show how to make the crust. I love me some meat pie and ketchup. And I don't want to offend him by not eating it. But yeah, and another thing too. So, you know, you feel like you're on vacation. Like, I mean, I know I do. And I, I don't drink a lot, but I drink more consecutively. Does that make sense? Because, you know, at night we'll be winding down, we'll have dinner, and then everybody's around the fire and everybody's having a beer. And so I'll have a couple beers. And I'm usually in bed by 10. And I think why I don't get like... I, I sleep really hard, but uh, then when I'm inside, I'm usually up till like 11 or 12 watching something. And then um, we have the roosters. <laughs> they start growing early, uh, but we love those roosters now. And so we're all feeding them because we want the baby chicks to grow up. Um, so yeah, so I just want to tell you, I forgot. I mean, I feel so refreshed. I feel like a new person. So watch out Walmart, here I come. And I have lost so many things in here. I'm telling you, so you know I can't find the brushes? And I looked everywhere. Uh, the other day, just the other day I was at Walmart and I bought some hummus. I cannot find that hummus. How do you lose hummus in a 19 foot van? I lose things like that, like where could it be? And so now I have to go get more hummus. I hope at some point I don't start smelling <laughs> And I just mindlessly put the hummus somewhere else. But I've looked. I've looked. So, <laughs> hashtag van life problems. Okay, we're off to Walmart. I'm going to get some brushes, too. And then, uh, yeah, going back to uh, the place and um, see what Keith's up to. Because we're going to go do something. So, okay, see you soon. Guess who's driving the big car? The big truck. And guess who's there? Show who's there. Oh, <laughs> Keith, where are we going? We're going to the shoot 'em up range. Yeah, because Keith wants to shoot a AR-15 style rifle and a 357 Magnum. Yeah, that's what he wants to shoot. Keith can't have a gun here because he's from Canada. I am not from the in-state or from the United States. Yeah, but I get to drive his big truck, and I'm gonna sell my gun when I get home. Because I'm going to get a revolver. I think that would be best for me, don't you, Keith? Yes, less maintenance. Yeah, instead of an automatic. Yeah. yeah. So, But I'm going to shoot it today. So, see what happens. Shoot him up. Shoot him up. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs>
Jesus. So we're back home. There's the pup. Oh. And the roosters are crowing. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Are they crowing? Are they crowing, huh? Yes. Yeah, they're crowing, huh? Okay, Keith and I are back. And uh, what's funny, so I love where we're staying. So I think I have, do I have dirt up there? No. <laughs> um, Bill, he's like a gun guy. And then JT were over there. They're playing, uh, what do you call it? You know, the bean bags. Yes. And they're making pork chops. But anyway, uh, I said that we had gone to the gun range and Bill's a gun guy. And he was showing me tricks on how to like keep it close to me and, you know, all these different things that I can do to help myself. And so, um, you know, I'm not a big gun person. I was never around guns. But I think they can be important, especially when you're in a situation like me where I'm all by myself traveling cross country in a very certain situation, but that I could protect myself and hopefully never have to. But it's so great to have somebody who can really teach you about them, get you familiar and uh, just be safe about it. So anyway, I'm not um, condoning anything. This is not political, but just for me and my safety. And I had training. I have a conceal and carry permit from Minnesota and, you know, I'm a legal processor. And so that's why I have one. Uh, but yeah, so I went, we went from finger painting <laughs> to shooting at the range. So there you go. That's what we do around here. So kind of like a nice mellow weekend. I slept all day yesterday. I feel amazing. And so I'm going to go out and spend some time with them and it's just, I don't know uh, where we've landed. And somebody said, where are you? And I will show you exactly where I am once I leave. And I'm going to show you the town. I'm going to show you where we're staying. Uh, that's another safety thing. Don't tell where I am until I leave a place. Um, just because I am out on the internet and I do get some kind of weird messages so uh, that's just a safety thing too but when I do leave I will show you exactly where we're at and um, I think this would be perfect for anybody well who even just wants to settle somewhere for a while or somebody new who wants to stay somewhere really great um, and I'll tell you Brian owns it and you can tell him that you know I said to come here and then uh there's a small town close, and then Jacksonville is close, and St. Augustine is close, so it's the perfect place to be. I'm so happy that we landed here. But that said, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to enjoy the last of the beautiful sun out there. And you know what to do. Go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van. You don't have to go to the gun range. You don't have to do any of that. Just maybe take a different way to work or go to a different restaurant or just do something that's out of the ordinary for you. That's an adventure. It doesn't have to be anything grandiose. Go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And I'll be back with Joy soon. And we'll have more um, videos with her. And don't you dare forget. You are magic. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.